Tonight, we're still learning more about what upstate schools are doing to protect your children. Concern for safety is on a rise right now, with many districts in our area receiving threats, with some students even facing criminal charges. Including Greenville, where a student was arrested, and other counties seeing threats too. We have it all mapped out on your screen. Abbeville, Anderson, Lawrence, Oconee, and Pickens. More arrests in Hart, Stevens, and Albert counties there in Georgia, and Macon County there in western North Carolina. Now, Lawrence police confirmed today students at Sanders Middle School were exchanging threats between each other. Officers say they do not believe there is any credible threat to the school. But tonight, Fox County's Berkeley Cromer is talking to parents about their concerns and finding out what they think needs to be done to make sure kids stay safe in school. Berkeley. Well, Justin, with these growing local threats, parents are even more worried about their kids' safety. I've talked to a lot of them in Greenville County this week, and every one of them are on the same page, saying every school should have this one security measure in place as soon as kids walk in the front door. They're talking about metal detectors, and while Greenville County schools don't have them, they do have other measures in place. They've added nine evolved weapon detection systems that travel from school to school on a random basis, several times per day. The district said it opted for this system because it's more efficient and effective than traditional metal detectors, using AI technology and cameras to spot weapons. I asked parents to weigh in about the system. Some of them still want a form of permanent detection in every school. I think it would prevent students from bringing in weapons and things that they're not supposed to be bringing in. Um, I think it would also, you know, if it was something that they went through every morning as they're entering school, then it wouldn't take time out of their learning throughout the day. Um, I know that they have had, my daughter told me that they had an instance where they came and they got pulled from class to go through this. And if they had it just there on a regular basis, then it wouldn't take from their learning. I definitely need that. Yeah, they need that. All schools, really. You know, that's a good thing. We probably need to do something before they get to the door with it, but... I think at least that's that's one preventive thing I do agree with, having a metal detector. I don't have any problem with that. The school district is also using Halo smart sensors in the restrooms at most middle and high schools. That detects loud noises like gunshots or fights and alerts the school. And over the past 10 years, the district has spent more than $100 million to make schools more secure.